This is Red Band coming to you live from Cleveland, Ohio at Hilarities. Get it up for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Here's Tony Henchcliffe. Hello, Cleveland. This is our first ever live podcast here. First ever Kill Tony live in Cleveland. We're the number one live podcast in the world. Are you guys excited or what? I have a bucket filled with Ohioans' names and a show where absolutely anything can happen. I'm an Ohioan, and so is this guy right here. It's Hell Brian yeah. Redband, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, guys? Gentlemen. OH! We are excited to be back in the homeland of Wendy's and Donato's. Oh, Donato's. We flew in, we landed at 6.15, we rushed here, set it up, and we're excited to go. You guys excited too? Yeah. Bunch more fun. Kill Tony's on the road coming up. Blah, 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 blah. Cincinnati, Fort Wayne, uh, Detroit, Lansing, Grand Rapids. Uh, Toronto. Toronto. Bunch of Texas. Toronto's a big one. Fort Worth, Dallas, Austin, Houston, and there's one more stretch that I'm forgetting. Nashville next oh, Sunday yeah. after we do a weekend in Lexington. Wow. So uh, it never ends. So if you're listening to this right now, you want to be part of it because listen to how happy these people are, right? Yeah. Make some noise, people. <laughs> Live at Hilarities on 4th Street in the heart of it all, of the heart of it all, this is Kill Tony. And I'm very excited tonight. We're going guestless tonight because we're fucking rebels. That's how we do it on the road. But uh, in order to overcompensate for that a little bit, we brought, uh, we brought a couple friends with us that you may know. How many of you are real Kill Tony fans out there? <laughs> then I think you're going to be pretty excited. Uh, we have a band on this show. And uh, every single episode, they commit to doing different characters, and they stay in character throughout the episode. Uh, on Monday, two nights ago, they were private detectives. Uh, Racist ones, too. You listen to the <laughs> five-year anniversary. Uh, Jeremiah was Joe Rogan, and uh, Joel Jimenez was me. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, we're very excited about tonight's band because they are what I would consider the core of the Kill Tony band. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you two of the funniest human beings on the fucking planet. We brought them all the way from L.A. with us today. Make some noise. For the Kill Tony band, the best damn band in the land, it is Jeremiah Watkins and Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. Oh, snap. They brought the whole fucking crew. Oh, shit. <laughs> We've seen these guys before. Oh, yeah. oh look at that. Guy revealing the drum set. Motherfucking drum set. Joel Berg is in the house on one of uh, one of his first ever roadkill Tonys. This is a big trip for Californian Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, and uh, clearly you guys are douchebags, right? Yeah, what's up, dude? <laughs> Joel Berg, how's it going? You're in Ohio. A yeah, Mex dude, happy to be here, Tony. A Mexican Californian in Ohio. I better be. That's the song you hear right before you get deported. We'll find out. <laughs> I am very excited about this. Uh, we have the band here. Jeremiah, how you feeling? Dude, about to get some pussy later. What about you, dude? <laughs> You are as douchey as it gets, indeed. Uh, any other big plans while you're here in Cleveland? More pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love it. I'm excited that we're going to get to hang out with these douchebags this entire episode of this show. I'm pumped as hell. We have an entire bucket filled with comedians' names. Really thin slices. Uh, really thin slice tonight. That's pretty exciting. It looks like linguine in there. Uh, if I pull your name out, that's how the show works. You get 60 uninterrupted seconds to try to make these people laugh. Uh, at the end of that 60 seconds, you're going to hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Whoa, furious. He sounds like, sounds like he's from Youngstown. Furious, tough bear. Uh, so that's how it goes. And then we interview you and find out more about you. Maybe uh, what else is interesting about your life or if you have any special skills or talents or anything like that. You guys ready for this? 
Cleveland, you're going to have to do a little bit better than that. It's Kill Tony live from the birthplace of rock and roll, Cleveland, Ohio. And here we go. It's going to go a little bit something like this. <laughs> Look at this in a piece of paper. <laughs> I should have known shit was going to get weird. And here we go. Your first, this could be a veteran. This could be one of the top comedians in Cleveland. This could be someone doing it for the first time. We're going to experience together. 60 uninterrupted seconds goes to Francis Nero. Or <laughs> Frank, Frank Nero. Frank, I read it wrong. It's Frank Nero. Here he comes. Seems confident. Cleveland, hilarities. This is like a dream come true for me. How are you guys doing tonight? All right. I did not want to go first. Jesus Christ. Um, this is actually my first time doing stand-up. I'm really excited about it. Um, I did perform comedy one time before in my life, but I don't count it for two reasons. One, I was 10 years old, and it was during a school talent show, so it's not really performing stand-up, right? But the other reason, the main reason I don't count it, is because I did not perform my own bit. I performed a bit written and originally performed by Bill Cosby. Yeah, that home video is not aged well, let me tell you. Um, it's not something you want your mom breaking out when you bring your girl home. Like, she'll be showing you how funny Frankie was when he was young. No, don't, God damn it, here we go. We didn't know that he was a rapist back then. I don't know, he was still, the, stop covering your drink, don't be ridiculous. So I was over at my parents recently. Uh, does anybody else's parents have their, uh, that photo uh, frame with all your school pictures? All right, there he is, Could Frank I finish? Nero. Can I finish? Spent his uh, 60 seconds talking about a different time that he bombed on stage. <laughs> <laughs> he had a full chance at redemption there, and uh, you talked about the past. <laughs> Douchebag, you look like you have something to say. Dude, is it just me, or does he look like a total bitch, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Frank, you are uh, already on? clearly on a path to being the next Carlos Mencia. <laughs> A Cosby bit of all the bits. Which one was it? Uh, it was the one with uh, God talking to Noah. And what oh. made you want to do that? Uh, I don't know, man. I was 10 years old. I just wanted oh, to get Oh, you were up. 10 years oh, old. I, I missed that part. Oh, look <laughs> at that. How old are you now? I'm turning 28 this month. 28. You don't look a day over 42. <laughs> Frank, what do you do for work? I'm an accountant. An accountant. I knew he was a bitch, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you accounting for? Uh, I don't know if I could say. Ooh, wow. It's a CPA firm on the east side of Cleveland. I bet it is. Uh, so, how long have you ever done stand-up since you were 10? No, this is my first time. This is your first time yeah. since you were 10? <laughs> yes. And when you were 10, you did a Cosby. <laughs> Okie dokie. It's a... That's... Yes, indeed. Uh, Brian has the comedic timing of a 9-11 <laughs> bomber. I didn't know it was going to be that loud. <laughs> Jesus. Uh... So this is your first time doing it. Do you listen to this show? I do, yeah. And you were excited to perform here tonight? I was, yeah. So I, I've probably been listening for about a year. Uh -huh. And then I think like four or five months ago, I started just kind of like jotting down funny thoughts that may have come to my head. And then when you Why didn't you do those tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you lose that list? Or? I did, yeah. Um, but no, and then you announced you were coming to Cleveland, and I bought tickets like literally the day that they came out, because I was like, if I'm going to do stand for the first time, I'm going to try to do it. I'm the number one live podcast in the world with uh, one of the top run young rising comedians today. So. Well, there you go. I, you know what, Frank? <laughs> at, since you said that, I liked your set tonight. Thank uh, you. Thank it was you. very, very funny, very good. I know how to win through. you over. What was the next thing you were going to talk about? I'm interested to hear. So uh, that was actually one of the first things that I kind of wrote um when i yeah, like, you started just say you don't have to tell us sorry that you wrote sorry, it down. sorry. We, so we, no we i was gonna part. say um uh picture frame of like you know all your school pictures from like kindergarten all the way to your it's like in a circle all the way to your senior year of high school in the middle and i was gonna say i don't like that because like i know i'm not a good looking guy now but i was a cute kid so it sucks to see me devolve over time like something happened where i went from hey i think you're cute to hey i think we should just be friends what, what else did you write down, Frank? I'm gonna try to give you a, I'm gonna try to give you some more shots at victory here. I never really do this, but I feel like you might have something. Sure. What else you got All right. there? Um, let's see. What, what uh, are these Jesus texts Christ. from other people? 
Oh my god, look at those. It's all paragraph form. <laughs> Um, oh, geez, there's the first bit. You have anything um, short there? The, like advantage of, the advantage of glasses, you can look contemplative, like take them off and be like, whatever, and then like you can't do that with contacts. I can't just like rip it out of my eye. See, these are just thoughts. I, I bet you I are one worked on hell it. of an accountant. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> you, really, you really do comedy by the numbers, Frank. <laughs> what else do you do? What do you do for fun? You look like you coach a high school football team. <laughs> No, um, I don't know. I just work out, um, <laughs> play guitar. Wow, would you like to join the band as a douchebag tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Position is filled. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Work out, play guitar, hang out with my girlfriend, go see my family, you know? Hell yeah, just work out. That's what you do for fun is hang out with your family. Like, I got, like, that's one of your working out and hanging um, out with your family. There you go. Just keep repeating it back to him, Brian. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> working out, hanging with your Okay. And yeah. I just uh, t- t- go out, like go out around Cleveland. You know, there's a ton of stuff to do around here. Go out to bars on the weekends with my friends. Go on hikes, whatever. Hikes. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of hikes do you go on in Cleveland? Oh, through the metro parks. I don't know. Do so it's more what? of a nature walk. I don't know, man. Nature walk. <laughs> Fuck, man. You. <laughs> you're really something else, Frank. I I punch vending machines and play laser tag, so I can relate, dude. <laughs> Man, Frank, you have a girlfriend? I do, yeah. How long have you two been together? Wait, what? Boo. Um, little, little over a year. Little over a year. Where'd you meet her? Uh, Tinder. <laughs> Whoa, Tinder. What's your profile on Tinder say? I like I to mean, crunch numbers and work out. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> what does she do? She's also an accountant. <laughs> oh, my God. Have you guys ever done anything other than the missionary position? <laughs> 69, dude. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins. <laughs> Accountant sex. Fuck yeah. 69 all day. Yeah, dude. First oh. date you guys went on, where'd you go? Uh, first day we just met for a the drink. The break at a bar. room? <laughs> You went for a drink? Uh, we went for a drink at a bar, yeah. Yeah, what kind of drink did you have? You seemed like you'd have a scotch, neat. I No, I had a beer probably. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> beer. This is Ohio. They don't yeah, do scotch, neat. Yeah, that's right. Man, do you remember what she had? She also had a beer. Wow, look at you two. Just She's a big beer drinker, so. A big beer drinker? Is she a big beer drinker? Or is she, like, larger size than <laughs> she drinks beer? Yeah, does she, does she, like, spot you at the gym, bro, or what, dude? <laughs> She's definitely not big, big, but yeah. Is she with you here tonight? She's right over there, yeah. Oh, How'd you land not that, bad. dude? Not bad, not bad. Uh, all right, Frank. Well, uh, you, your last name's Nero. You Italian? I am, yeah. Yeah. Your parents, 100%. Your parents make a good uh, pasta sauce? The best, yeah. The best. Mm-hmm. I highly doubt that. My 72-year-old mom is out there somewhere I... in the audience. <laughs> she will kill you, sir. I'm coming back tomorrow. You want me to bring you a jar of sauce? Oh, uh, yeah. Sauce off. Yeah. T- Tony, this guy looks like if uh, Pitbull was a substitute teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, the chants have begun in the home birthplace of rock and roll. All right, Frank, we're going to keep it moving along. This right. was a fun interview. Your set was okay. There he goes, Frank Nero. He's got a firm handshake, this guy. Playing a little Cleveland Rocks over there. Look at that. Look what Jeremiah learned for one night only. All right. I pulled another name out of the bucket. You guys get it? You having fun yet? All right. Put your hands together for Lucas Matows. Lucas Matos. Everybody's sort of has shitty handwriting here. Here comes Lucas, everybody. Come on. Make some noise for him. Oh, what's up, guys? Um... I just want to be from a broken home, right? Everybody I knew growing up was from a broken home. They were a lot cooler than I was, you know. They smoked first. They drank first. You know, they got fingered first. (laughs) All the good shit. I was adopted, though, so I kind of have a little weird thing about me. My parents, they have a kid before me, so I have a third biological son. They do love him more than they love me. I mean, let's be real. I'm used, you know. 
It's like a used PlayStation, right? You get it, it's cool. Doesn't come with the box, doesn't come with the instructions. Who fucking cares, you know? <laughs> yeah. I have a sister too, she's adopted. We're both from Colombia. Uh, we're not blood related or anything like that. I would definitely have sex with her, you know? <laughs> I could. I could fuck my whole family, right? And it would be fine. Genetically, like if we had kids, you know, they wouldn't come out with their eyes far apart or anything like that. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'm Lucas Mateos. Here you go. Lucas. Mat- Lucas Mateos? Mateos. Mateos. Yes. That's the, that's the last name of the family that adopted you? Uh, no, that was my name when I was, my last name when I was born. Oh, so you don't even know the Mateuses, huh? I don't. I do know a little, like, excerpt about my mother. That's it. You read an excerpt? Yeah. What did the excerpt say? Uh, It said that she was from a village outside of Bogota, Colombia, and uh, she had a kid six years before me, so I have a half-brother, you know, somewhere. Where did you read this excerpt at? Uh, My my adopted parents had a, like a... Fortune cookie? Yes. (laughs) Yeah. Spanish fortune cookie. Dude, I would say something to this dude, but I'm freaking terrified right now, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weird you're Colombian because you look like if Hitler was a skateboarder. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow. Jolberg's on fire. All right, I've never seen a dude dressed like mustard and relish before. There you go. <laughs> oh. For those of you listening to the podcast, he is wearing green cargo pants and a yellow extra large starter t-shirt with the starter logo and the extra large tag, extra large. Uh, It is very impressive. It's something that I haven't seen since I was back in Ohio. Um, Welcome back. (laughs) Shoes on point. Shoes are on point according to Red Band. Yes. Um, (laughs) Lucas, what do you do for work? Uh, I work at a grocery store. Yeah, what do you do at the grocery store? Uh, I work in the back. In the back? (laughs) What are you doing in the back of the grocery store? Do you sell weed (laughs) behind a grocery store? (laughs) Dude, they always ask me if I want bags there, and I'm always like, nah, dude, I'm going to raw dog it. (laughs) (laughs) Is it a giant eagle? Uh, no, I used to work there, though. That was I my first work, job. The first job I ever had was at a giant eagle. In pushing Kansas, carts? Ohio. I was pushing carts, Fuck bagging yeah. groceries on my 16th <laughs> yeah. birthday. My work ethic began there. From, <laughs> From the giant eagle to the giant ego. <laughs> oh, this motherfucker. Holy shit. Wow, somebody put out the fire over there. My God, the horse of truth is out. Jesus, the, everybody's ganging up on me. The douche hey. is strong with this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lucas, uh, do you really uh, ever think about having sex with your sister? Uh, I mean, I've thought about it, but yeah, I'm not attracted yeah. to her. You want to put it in the back of her grocery store, don't yeah. you? Fuck yeah, you want to More stock so like cousins, those shelves. Uh, nice. <laughs> Lucas, how old are you? Uh, 32. 32. Right. Fuck yeah. You've done stand-up before? Yeah. Uh, you yeah. do it a lot here in Cleveland? Uh, I'm from Columbus. From Columbus. Yeah. Did you come up for this? Yeah. You drove up for this yeah, yeah, specifically? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Funny bone? Is that what you do out it, there? Uh, I mean, I've, I don't get up there because I'm not good enough, but, you know, yeah, I go there for open mics and stuff. So. When you say you're not good enough, is this your birth parents that told you this <laughs> or the original my, parents. My dad told me for the first time he was proud of me when he saw me do stand-up for the first time. Really? So, yeah. The dad yeah. that adopted you? Yeah. Damn, that took him a while, <laughs> huh? How old were you when you started stand-up? Uh, like a year ago. So 31. Yeah. And he told you he was proud of you. Before yeah. that, he's just like, God damn it, I adopted you from Bogota, <laughs> and all you want to do is work in a goddamn grocery store. Dream what... big. All right. Yeah. So, uh, what do you do for fun? Smoke pot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what else? Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, I used to do music, but I kind of gave that up. You know? Gave it up? Yeah. What did you do musically? I was like a singer in punk bands. Pretty embarrassing. Really? But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you give us a little example of, like, one of your verses or something like that? I think these people would love to hear it. 
I kind of forget some of my uh, the songs. Uh, I mean, do you guys know anything? <laughs> Covers? Yeah. I know all of the punk songs on saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like a ska thing? I don't know. Just go for it. Joel will follow your lead. Uh, okay. Uh, do you want me to like, scream it? Is that okay? Yeah, dude. Fuck uh, yeah. Wow, that's uh, re- really punk. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay if I scream? I don't want to break anything, you know. Uh, it'd be like, uh, be like, uh, I'm a stalker! I got time, stalker! That's about Seriously, it. Seriously, respect my stalker! <laughs> this is great. A little something from the uh, South Park episodes. Yes. As performed no. by uh, Steve Lemmy from Super Troopers. <laughs> dude, that, that's my favorite band, Cartman and the Unloved Sons, dude. <laughs> Well, uh, that's a lot of fun, Lucas. Um, uh, So you used to sing in a punk band. What was the name of your band? Uh, I've been in a few. The last one I was in was called The Nukes. The Nukes? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I lived in Chicago at the time, so it's not like an Ohio thing. Sorry, guys. There you go. So there you go. But now you don't do any music at all, huh? No, I kind of lost the interest in it. I'm surprised that your dad never told you that he was proud of you singing. He, he like never you came did. to that shit. He never came to that. He likes Rascal Flats. Oh, yeah. yeah. Listen to the booze of the crowd. Uh, <laughs> all right, Lucas. Do you have any uh, special skills or talents or anything like that? You seem like you'd be really good at like uh, cooking stuff on a spoon or something like that. <laughs> Twitching. Uh, no, I can draw. You can what? I can draw. You know what? Why don't you go draw tonight's episode, and then at the end, we'll, uh, we'll take a look yeah. at it like we do with Ryan J.E. Belt. There he goes. L- Lucas Mateus, everybody. Hey, fuck yeah. Handshakes all the way around tonight. Uh, he's on Twitter at Blood X Shower, and I forgot what? to mention that... Blood X Shower. Yes. <laughs> Blood X Shower. And that Frank Nero is F Nero... S3? 5 3, of course, you fucking accountant. <laughs> All right, keeping the fun train moving along. Let's just keep blasting Dude, through. Dude, math then meth. We, <laughs> this show's doing good so far. Yeah, who knows what will happen next? Ooh, I like one word names. You guys like one word names? Always interesting. Put your hands together for the one, the only, Henry. Yeah, I think they're going to. Hello, my name's Henry. Uh, I sell tickets in a box office. That's my job. On my very first day, my manager said, Henry, you better never come into work high because I'll know. I said, well, you're doing a pretty shitty job right now then because I'm stoned. Went to a minor league baseball game high. Have you guys ever been high during the national anthem? It's like super long. (laughs) I even thought about taking a knee at one point. I was like, I got to chill out on this, you know? Uh... This is going okay. (laughs) I'm the youngest of seven siblings, and I have six older sisters. Once, at a young age, my sisters dressed me up inappropriately, then had a provocative photo shoot, then got those pictures developed. So now there's just some hard copies at my mom's house. (laughs) My family threatens me, too, with them. They'll say, oh, you don't want us to get the pictures of Henrietta out, now do you? I'm like, no, because you guys would go to jail if we got those out. Nah. It's illegal to put a little boy in lace and high heels and keep pictures of it for 15 years. Thank you. There you go. Henry coming in, showing how it's done. Look at that. How's it going, bud? Feel good? That was great, man. That was a great set. 60 seconds, multiple jokes. How long have you been on stand-up? Seven years. Seven years. You're based out of here in Cleveland? Uh, No, I actually work at the Funny Bone with Lucas. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I also thought he was a serial killer for like the first four months I knew him, for sure. (laughs) How long have you worked at the Funny Bone? Uh, Like a year now. That's awesome, Mm -hmm. man. That's uh, probably the biggest comedy club here in Ohio, other than Hilarities, of course. This is like uh, way different than that, for sure. No, I love Hilarities, and I don't love the Funny Bone. 
I <laughs> and I get enough work and get to pick and choose where I perform enough that I can say that on this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I love every comedy club. Yes. <laughs> Brian, for some reason, adores the funny bone. Except flappers. Oh, there, oh wow. Way, way, way to throw the completely unknown comedy club under the mm. bus there, Brian. Yes. Uh, so, Henry, you've been doing it for seven years. You've been at the Funny Bone for one. Are you originally from Columbus? Uh, no, I'm from southern Ohio. Southern, more southern yeah. than Columbus. Yeah, like the point of Ohio, like basically Kentucky, yep. unfortunately. Yeah, yep. kind of. Very good. Sir, you don't need to say anything yeah, well, for the rest a, of the episode. Yeah. Very good. We really, I don't know if you think maybe you're the guest because you're closest mm-hmm. to the table, but I promise you're not. Shut the dude. fuck up. I know. <laughs> dude, I, I do dress like that? Fucking idiots, man. Oh, my God. I knew yeah. there was going to be a couple. I didn't realize I'd be right fucking next to one. <laughs> oh, your ringtone's going off. Um. <laughs> and by next to one, I mean surrounded by them, obviously. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. So, Henry, uh, yeah. you've been doing stand-up for seven years, and you, you're based out of Columbus. Now, that's an interesting thing. You ever think about moving to Chicago or New York City? Uh, or do re- you only have a good 60 seconds? <laughs> no, uh, probably, but uh, I've thought about moving recently, but I don't know. I just feel like there's a bunch What's of just— What's keeping you there? I mean, I feel like everywhere you go, there's just white dudes with beards. So I'm like, here's another one, you know? And like, yeah, we're like, great. Yeah, 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 you're right. And that's why I encouraged uh, Louis C.K. to retire, <laughs> you know? And it, and it actually worked. Um, um, yeah, there's white dudes with beards everywhere, but they're not all, you know, necessarily funny, Henry. And by the way, you know, you can shave. <laughs> Thought about it. Um, yeah, I mean, what would, what's the best spot? I mean, I've heard, like, good stuff about D.C., Chicago? Nope. No, DC's bad? Yep. Uh, Maybe the ones I mentioned. Chicago, Chicago New, New York, York cool, LA. Cool, cool. My bad, sorry, yes. Yeah. Um, you would you'd move from Cleveland to DC. That's where you're really taking baby steps here, Henry. <laughs> okay, yeah. So one guy told me DC is the place to go. <laughs> if you want to make it big in the comedy business, go to the governmental center of the United <laughs> States of America. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay, so... Henry, why do you only go by Henry? Because um, I went to the comedy store one time to watch In you LA? guys. Yeah, for yeah. like a day. We were In January, we were there for... Um, we went to like Vegas for my mom's birthday, and then me and my girlfriend flew out just for a day for the show and like signed up. Kill Tony. Yeah. We went to Kill Tony. For yeah. sure, yeah. yeah. And it was even the episode where the dude ate the chip, and we were like two, uh-huh. row, like two, two rows in, uh-huh. and you were like, we're going to just... Somebody raise your hand to eat this chip. My girlfriend was like, you fucking bitch, raise your hand. And, like, you looked at me like, are you going to do it? And I was like, fucking someone raise their hand, you know? And then I didn't do it. But um, Wow. Look I wish that, that story you was were better. so close <laughs> to being on a Kill Tony episode uh, in L.A. and having a good minute. And instead, you do things like consider moving to Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. close, Henry. Does your girlfriend call you a bitch a lot? Uh, it happens sometimes. Yeah. I feel like it's even, though. Jeremiah? Like Does anybody ever tell you you look like metrosexual Captain America? <laughs> <laughs> No, I never, never. But. You look like metrosexual Captain America. <laughs> uh, I actually had someone tell me I was a douche for the first time yesterday. Whoa, dude. Bring That's not a bad it's thing. It's missing from your bro over here. Okay, dude. No, I'm freaking no. see you, dude. <laughs> They when did, did the person call you a douche? Last night, actually, I was doing, um, like, going to go over, like, my minute or whatever. Me and my friend got what? super... What? Well, what? You just all said oh. a sentence in one word. Oh, sorry. Uh, we were going to go over, like, the minute that I was going to do. Oh, okay. Went to an open mic and, like, smoked a lot. And it didn't go well or whatever, but I was like, it'll be better then. And uh, my friend was like, dude, you kind of remind me of Dane Cook. I was like, he's a super big douche. Like, why would you say that? And he was like, uh, I mean, like, Chris... Don't talk about Dane like that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> And they just compare me to other people. I'm like, the douches are, like, starting to increase, you know? So I was like, I think I might just be a douche now, you know? Man. I don't Dude, know. you could never be a douche. <laughs> I don't know if I like the people you're hanging out with, Henry. What, what, what about you uh, reminded him of Dane Cook? I don't understand. Uh, I didn't really either. He was probably also high and probably a little drunk. Right. Um, but I feel like he just really meant it sincerely. And I was like, I don't really... See the comparison. He probably thought that was a good thing. Like that's yeah. the only comedian that he knew that kicked ass. Or and something if somebody like that. that I'm hanging out with thinks that the best compliment is Dane Cook, then I'm hanging out with the wrong people. Yeah, you're sure. right. You're right. Yeah. You need to hang out with a the circle that you have is very vicious, <laughs> Lucas, and uh, yeah. <laughs> it's time for you to go outside of that vicious circle and find uh, new people. 
Um, all right, Henry. Well, this is uh, this is actually quite incredible. I'm very uh, surprised at how funny you are. I love oh, that you made yeah. the drive up here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, congratulations. We're doing Thank another you. one of these on Friday night in Cincinnati if you feel like uh, making another hike. For real, all right? Yeah, for sure, maybe. There you go. There he goes, everybody. Henry, he's on Twitter at the Henry Allen. That's how a good minute goes. All right, we're just giving handshakes away. If I could please have a tub of hand sanitizer that I could just dip it in, I would love that. Good God. Good. It's, my hand smells like the 71 North. <laughs> All right, pulled another one out. Put your hands together for Joe Schaefer. Here he comes. Very casually, out of nowhere. Joe Schaefer, everybody. Give it up for Paul Walker, guys. I didn't know he wasn't dead. That was awesome. <laughs> Guy looks like Paul Walker. <laughs> Henry, Paul Walker, whatever. A uh, guy recently introduced himself to me as 8 Mile. I didn't know what to say to that. It put me in a weird situation. Do I ask, why do they call you 8 Mile? Or and risk traveling down that road? Or just let this guy try to fuck my girlfriend for an hour while we play darts and call him 8 Mile to his face? So I just did that instead. I look like the guy that tries to break up a fight between two people and gets beaten up by both of them. I look like Ryan Gosling if he was a lesbian in mid-transition. I just recently learned how to tell time. That's not a joke. I own one watch and I'm stupid. And that's it. All right. Uh, very charismatic uh, beginning and end there. Uh, so, that was interesting, Joe. <laughs> it seems like halfway through you just tried to start making fun of yourself to beat us to the punches of what we were going to say. I take the eight-mile approach. You yeah. Know I, mean? I have a weak I... chin. I... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. So, uh, Joe, let's talk about it. And when you made the joke about Paul Walker, you were talking about the guy that was on before yeah. you, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, very good. Just making sure you're not taking shots at the throne. No, no. Uh, I was just thinking the whole time I was sitting there that he looked like Paul Walker and nobody said it, so I was just kind of waiting for it. There you go. Wait, wait, what's that, uh, what's that, uh, what's that uh, bandage around your wrist? I, uh, I fell, you know, Jeremiah style and you broke my Jeremiah arm. You fell Jeremiah style? You were on a skateboard? No, I just fell with outstretched arms and tried to brace myself. I was playing basketball. Uh, whoa, you're making me look like a bitch, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Radial Chill head. Chill with that, man. Radial head fracture is what it's most commonly called. No, you're a bowler, dude. Admit it. <laughs> Joe, did you try to iron your shirt with a fucking brick? <laughs> what exactly What exactly? No, happened? No, I, I actually had it, you know, look nice, but I drove two hours here, so it got all wrinkled on the way, man. You, everybody that's been up so far has driven two hours I came to came from Pittsburgh. Here, and uh, you came all the way from Pittsburgh. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Uh, oh, I was man. born in Youngstown. I was born in Youngstown. Really? You were yeah. born? Wow, well, listen, listen to the Hinchcliffs out there. Uh... You were born at what, St. Elizabeth's? Yep. yep. Wow, look at yep. that. Just like me. It's amazing yep. how uh, different two senses of humors can get uh, when you're born in the same hospital. Uh, how old are you, Joe? I just turned 29. 29. And you live in Pittsburgh? Cranberry, it's called. Cranberry Township. Is <laughs> wow, called. geez. I was trying to not say that. Do you have that. to let it linger? I look like the dude that lives in a place <laughs> called Cranberry. <laughs> Do you have a freaking UTI, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. I live in uh, Cranberry. I was trying to not say it. I really what do was. You, uh, <laughs> by the way, you just keep winding up the cord the more nervous you get, Joe. I don't know what's going on. You're about to pull Honestly, it out of the this wall. Goes, this goes back to like old vocalist days. I don't know. When I was in a band, I used to, this is kind of like my move. Joe, you so. don't have to explain yourself. Just let Please the laughs die down, and yeah. then I'll Man, keep that's, going. That's, going that's my move. That. It makes me feel comfortable. You're going to make spider webs <laughs> and stuff like that. What kind of band were you in, dude? I was in like a hardcore band back in the day. Really? Yeah, yeah. You were in a band? Yeah. What did you do in a band? I did vocals. Just vocals? Did, yeah. Can you give us an example uh, of Absolutely a... not, no. Yeah, you can. <laughs> uh, no, man. I, I mean, I do play drums. I was hoping for a drum off, but I broke my arm. But uh, You're saying that you can't do the drum off because you broke your arm? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Jeez, I mean, it's your fool. I can go lefty. Dude. I can go lefty, but I... There's only, you know, it's missing a couple of things. Joe, you, you, are, you are made of excuses. 
I tell you, your shirt's wrinkled. You said that you drove from Pittsburgh. That's right, man. I was thinking the whole time I was trying to adjust my seatbelt, and it just kept wrinkling it up. Stop. I just, I Stop with your explanations hey, after man. every question. There's, ex- there's a reason for everything. You just did it again. <laughs> Joe, what do you do for a living? Uh, recently, just became an Uber driver, actually. You're an Uber driver. I'm in the Uber game. Yeah, you, you do that with one arm. Uh, I had to actually take a couple put, weeks off. Put the cables down, man. Come on, what the fuck? <laughs> I had to, to take crazy. a couple weeks off because I broke my arm and then I hurt this wrist, so I couldn't drive. Wow, look at you. What did you do before you drove Uber? I served. Wait, wait. I'm you said tables. you hurt that arm and then you hurt your other wrist. No, both at the same time. I fell extending to try to catch uh, myself. I thought about like you hurt this arm and then you like started jerking it too much with the left one. <laughs> no. It hurt the wrist. <laughs> Wristy no. business. Spr- two sprained wrists, one broken arm. Same time. Uh, your parents still live in Youngstown? No, no. They uh, live in Pittsburgh, too? J- my dad lives in, uh, in a place called Zelenople, which is near Cranberry. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like what 10 is miles is from someone Cranberry. someone paying you $500 every time you say Cranberry? Zelenople is what it's called. Man, okay. W- do your parents got divorced? No, my, my mom passed away, so it's just oh. my dad. Oh, shit. Yeah, was yeah. she part of this fall that happened on the yeah. basketball court? No, huh? no, that was... Uh, she passed away on Halloween, actually. On Halloween? On Halloween was it man. Michael Myers or something like no, that? No, no, no. No? What happened? She was sick. Sick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you say sick like she had, like, a common cold or something like that. Yeah. Like, uh... Was it... All right, forget yeah, it. It was the big C, you know. Oh, she was a cunt. Ah. <laughs> this guy gets it, dude. <laughs> All right, Joe. Well, uh, how how long have you been doing stand up? I've never done stand up. You've never done no, stand up. No. But there you go. This just a just a fan. Time. Just drove out. Hell yeah. He's yeah. never never done stand up, and he still hasn't. No. <laughs> He, but he, he doesn't do stand-up, but he can fall down. Absolutely. <laughs> well, Joe, uh, you popped your cherry here tonight. Popped your, popped your cranberry here tonight. I should have just said Pittsburgh, man. I should have just said Pittsburgh. <laughs> Fucking hell, Joe. All right, buddy. Well, we're going to keep it moving cool. along. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you For your first time, that was pretty good, people. Joe Schaefer. Be careful, Joe. You might want to take the stairway, you klutz. <laughs> this guy's just stage diving. Oh, look at that. Some Germex. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Germex, the original hand sanitizer since 1971. All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Let's see what happens here. Make some noise for Jeff Gordon. Is it the race car driver? Who knows? Here he is, Jeff Gordon, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, what's up? My name is Jeff Gordon. Uh, I have a beard. Sorry about that. My dad left me when I was little. Still waiting for him to come back to teach me how to shave. <laughs> Nobody ever takes me seriously when I complain that there's a hair in my food at a restaurant. <laughs> I suffer from sleep paralysis. You know, that's when you wake up and you can't move because your beard's stuck in your armpit. (laughs) For some reason, uh, Amish people love to wave at me. (laughs) Uh, I think I'm showing uh, characteristics of being a serial killer because I'm a cat murderer. I don't like to kill cats, but yeah, I've done it before. Yeah, come on, guys, look at me. I'm one forehead swastika tattoo away from Charlie Manson. There you go. Coming in and crushing it. Tons of punchlines, knocking it out. Jeff Gurdon. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Fuck yeah. Uh, How long have you been stuck on a deserted island? (laughs) Yeah, it's been about six years now. Fuck yeah. There's a little Grateful Dead to make you feel at home. 
Jeff Gurdon. Fuck yeah, that was a great set. You're wearing a, uh, a Roast Battle shirt representing the wave. Heck Woo! yeah, make sure to check out Roast Battle the next uh, three Tuesdays at 10 p.m. on Comedy Central. There's a big, uh, big match coming up in the next couple weeks that I think you guys are all going to be really excited about. Um, let's just say I had to face the number one roast battler in the country. So, spoiler alert, it wasn't easy. <laughs> so, Jeff Gurdon, uh, how long have you been doing stand up? Uh, it's my first time. Get the fuck out of here. No way. Really? What? Wow, dude. That I might mean, be one of the best first times we've ever had on this show, Jeff. You should be very proud of yourself. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Damn, Joelberg's drawing heat tonight. Did you, did you have a, a, a good first time? Like, yes. Like, and did you have a good second time? <laughs> Usually no. it's like the second time is the one that always sucks. Did you guys have a good first time? <laughs> Every time. Dude. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, Jeff, um, you just started. How old are you? Uh, 31. 31. And what made you want to start now? Just watching the show. Yeah. Loving uh, stand-up. Yeah. It's crazy because that's the answer that most people give after their first time, and they usually just bomb. How long did you prepare for this? Uh, well, I wrote things down uh, here and there, but like literally the last night I just sat down and wrote shit out. And I'm like, all right, fucking memorize yeah, this shit. Night? Punch, punch, punch. Yep. Yeah, that's amazing. You're very comfortable on stage. Did you do anything uh, like prior? That I do not feel comfortable right now, that's for sure. <laughs> really? Dude, you're no, I'm nervous as fuck. I respect all you guys. I, you well, guys are hilarious. Well, I'll tell you what, Jeff. We're all equals now. You're a comedian, and you just got 60 seconds worth of laughter. You should feel right at home. <laughs> you know, much like uh, Lucas Mateus, you can consider us your new adoptive family. <laughs> all right. So, Jeff, what do you do for work? Uh, I'm a garbage man. Get the fuck out of here. You're a real Dude, garbage man? I freaking yeah, yeah. love this guy. <laughs> Where do you collect garbage at? In Cleveland? Uh, no, no. I live about an hour south of Buffalo. An hour south of Buffalo. That's the dead smack middle of New York. Oh, yeah, Buffalo it's... dick. <laughs> All right. So, uh, okay. He's having a he's having a, the time of his life up here. I don't think that song really works. Oh, the uh, middle of the <laughs> middle of New York. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> Buffalo's pretty bad too. The whole really that you're whole, right. That yeah. whole thing's bad. Uh, so is that where you're born and raised? Yep. Did you much. drive here for this? Yeah, of course. Wow. How long of a drive is that? Six, seven hours. Three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. Wow. Holy shit! In your garbage truck. <laughs> <laughs> Man, how long have you been collecting garbage for? Uh, I don't know, about five years. Damn, that is interesting. We've had so many different occupations on this show. I don't think we've ever had a garbage man. Dude, you you ever keep stuff? <laughs> All the time. Like 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 what do you like what do you keep, dude? Oh, everything I can find, man. That's a great question, actually. Can you give us an example of something cool, maybe, that you found in the trash five years of doing it? I'm sure you saw something. Where'd you, is that where you got the beard? Uh, no. That's where I started growing the beard, because uh, yeah. I had a job where I can finally grow it out, you know? Dress for the job you want. Oh! <laughs> 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 uh, 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 Shit. Yeah, have you found anything cool or like a dead body or anything crazy? No, I found a like a half living cat one time in a garbage bag. A half living cat, and by the sounds of your set, you finish the job, huh? <laughs> just fucking push the button on the compactor, just fucking. <laughs> wow, is that the cat that you killed? Yeah, it's one of them. <laughs> Fuck yeah! You ever think about uh, you ever think about uh, you know upgrading like uh, collecting trash in Buffalo or Cleveland or DC or something like that? 
Yeah. No, man, I love the country, man. You like it out there. All I do is just drive around listening to podcasts all day. I fucking love Not that. listening to anybody. It's I fucking love, great. I love that. That's fucking great. Um, do you work with someone else or you collect garbage by yourself? I'm by myself in a pickup truck just going around the country In a roads. pickup truck? Yep. Wait, what kind of garbage man are you, dude? This is fucking... This Wait, is like, are you a gypsy or a garbage <laughs> man? <laughs> no, 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 no. Wow, no. man. You just run your own little fucking truck dynasty, huh? Yes. Interesting, Jeff. Man, I feel like I could talk to you fucking forever. Well, thank you. Any other fun facts about you? If there was a book on Jeff Gurdon, uh, would there be any other interesting chapters? Uh, yeah, I heard of the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. I'm in a band. Really? What do you it. do in the band? Uh, I play drums. Get the fuck out of here. Well, I got some bad news for you, Jeff. There's a segment on this show that by rule we must follow as long as your wrists are healthy. You're not a fucking pussy like Henry. Uh, there is a, uh, a segment on this show. Joel, if you want to go hi you want to hide somewhere behind the curtain or something? I mean, we doing this? Yeah, dude, we're doing it, dude. Hold on one second. Let me introduce it properly. Uh, every time we find out somebody plays drums on this show, we do a thing called the Mexican Drum Off, where we let them play a drum solo. And then, hold on one second. We let them, if, if the music's louder than me, okay, perfect. Where they do a drum solo, Joel Berg hides away, and then uh, Joel Berg comes back and defends his throne by playing his own drum solo. By rule, if his drum solo is better than Joel's, he's the new drummer of Kill Tony and is coming back to Los Angeles with us. But let me warn you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me warn you. Dude, I'm worried for Joel for the first time, dude. Hold on, let me warn you, if you haven't seen this before, it is extremely hard to beat Joel Berg at this game. So now, with no further ado, I present to you, live from Cleveland, Ohio, the home of birthplace of rock and roll, it is the Mexican drama with Jeff Gurdon! Wow! That was, that was awesome. That was good. And now, defending his throne is Joel <laughs> Cleveland Cox, you know what I'm Ladies and gentlemen, meet the new drummer of Kill Tony. <laughs> wow. It's the maddest Joel has ever gotten at me. He's like, what? <laughs> Judas. That was actually the best uh, drum off. That was that. the best Mexican drum off. Jeff Gurdon, I have to, I'm going to give you the full treatment, sir. Unbelievable set, unbelievable interview, unbelievable drum off, perhaps the best contender ever. But uh, we're going to stick with Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. But other than that, you're one of my favorite people we've ever pulled out of the bucket. I will shake that trash man's hand. Jeff Gurdon. That was great. Yeah, give me some of that. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I get a vodka soda? <laughs> on the socks. <laughs> Feeling a little naked up here. <laughs> Dude, wow. You, yeah. God damn. How about one more time for Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, huh? Yeah, dude. Wow. Fucking amazing. This show just went to hyperdrive because of a fucking garbage man. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Tough act to follow. Good luck to this guy. Put your hands together for Michael Joseph. Here 
There he is, everybody. Michael Joseph. Hello. My name is Michael Joseph. You may recognize me from the candles your abuelita keeps around her house. Um, some people have a direct relation with Jesus Christ. I like to think I have an inverse relationship with Jesus Christ in that uh, the less I believe in him, the more I look like him. Uh, which is kind of strange because I was raised Catholic. Give it up if you're in that cult. Yeah. Uh, and I was like super religious when I was a kid. Um, so much so that I actually studied to be a Roman Catholic priest. And I know a lot of you here that are like, oh, you must really like kids. But uh, the truth is, I, uh, it's always my dream to make money hosting a weekly sci-fi um, book club. So after three years, I uh, decided it wasn't uh, the right life for me. You got to give up money, sex, your own freedom. And uh, I just figured there's got to be an easier way to fuck kids. So I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's my time. Thank you, guys. There you go. 58 seconds from Michael Joseph. There it is. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Tony. How's it going? You Very look well. like if Jeff Gurdon went to half an episode of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. <laughs> yeah. Mo- yeah. More like Jeff Nerdin, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, uh, is your f- obviously your first time on the show. Uh, yes. You from Cleveland? I'm originally from this area, but I live in Rochester now. Rochester? I'm pretty much exactly like this dude. Rochester, New York. Yeah. You, did you drive here from there for yeah. that for this? Mm-hmm. How long of a drive is that? Oh, uh, four hours. Four hours. Did you know you could have picked up Jeff Gordon on your way? I, I would have. Seems like a cool dude. Yeah, he certainly is. Uh, so, Michael, uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about a month and a half. Month and a half. Yep. And you've been doing it in Rochester at... I've been uh, around there. Where's that place? That's a funny bone. Uh, no, uh, the, the most recent uh, place that's open now is Comedy at the Carlson. But I don't, uh, that's like for professionals. I just do a bunch of open mics now. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, how's that going for you? It's all right. Yeah. yeah. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a freelance translator. Freelance translator. Really? What, well, you, <laughs> what kind of languages? Uh, Arabic and Spanish. Really? You know yeah. how to speak Arabic? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty bad at it. I, I mostly translate like documents. But yeah, I can speak a little. Huh. This seems like you're one of those guys that like could join ISIS. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. You I just know it. how to translate documents, huh? Yes. Yeah. Aww. What's a lot of say something in Arabic for us? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, say my, I w- I say wanna... my butt is ready. Please, <laughs> uh, please. What's that mean? My. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Should have seen that coming. Yeah, real, real stretch on that one. <laughs> how how yeah, do you say well, shoehorn? Like, how right. do you say shoehorn in Arabic? <laughs> I don't know that one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, how do you make money freelance translating? Uh, they pay you by word. So you know, you, you got a thousand words. I charge eight cents per word. So eight cents per word. So mm-hmm. a thousand a words. A, it's dude, that's like a bucks. bajillion dollars, yeah. dude. <laughs> So, I'm how, pretty much fucking killing it. How long yeah. you been doing that for? Uh, yeah, like two years now. Is Michael Joseph your real name, or is it that is. your first yeah. and middle name? No, it is first and last name. Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, Rochester. You wait. You're originally from here. Your parents yeah. still here? Yeah, they're what? here actually. They're sitting wow. next to your mom actually. The Josephs. They're out there somewhere, huh? Hey guys. Thanks for coming. Yeah, you have your dad's beard and your mom's hair, so <laughs> I'm sure they're very proud of you. Yes. That hairstyle is very interesting. Did you, you drive in a convertible here from <laughs> Rochester? No. He's no, the Maxwell tape cassette guy. <laughs> you remember that from the 90s? Never mind, dude. <laughs> wow. Hell yeah. So a month and a half, on, it's man. been going good? Yeah, it's all right. Hell yeah. yeah. Google that. I'm convinced you'll <laughs> love it after wow. the show, dude. I'm tripling down. Hell yeah. <laughs> Jeremiah, not letting that one go at all. <laughs> so stand-up's been going good? Yeah, it's all right. Hell yeah. It's so easy a caveman can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Wait, what? <laughs> Michael. Oh, Jesus. Oh, are you mad because they got my 2000s reference? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I live in the freaking 90s, you tard. Fred Durst is still on the top of the charts, you idiot. <laughs> Michael, uh, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, when you're not translating Arabic. Uh, 
I don't know. I just look at a lot of porn, really. That's a lot pretty of porn. Much, yeah. What are some? Of you your hear th- that, mom? He only yeah. looks at porn yeah. for fun, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess I should have said video games. I play a lot of video games. Uh, read, write, but uh, uh, no, porn. We're going to go back yeah. to porn for yeah, a second yeah. here. Um, what are some of your favorite types of porn to watch? Just oh. be honest. Be honest. Uh, I'll really? be honest with mine. Mine, yeah. cream pies. I love yeah. it. There's something about a dirty... Hold on. Let me finish this, Brian. <laughs> Jesus. Dude. This fucking guy. Oh, let me say something at any time. <laughs> he thought cream pie was a hostess snack, so he got excited. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite is uh, is uh, any dirty slut that just takes hot loads from an, uh, from a dirty porn star guy. Like that is amazing to me. You hear that, Miss Hinchcliffe? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> That's my new favorite soundbite, dude. <laughs> my mom is not surprised. <sighs> my mom knows I love cream pies. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's get his mom and your mom up here, and we want to know their favorite category of porn. That might be a good question. I think we all want to know, dude. All right. Michael, what's your answer? Uh, I really like girls do porn. You know, that's right. What the fuck did you just say? I really like girls do porn. Did you yeah. just turn into a kindergartner? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that. What do you mean girls do porn? It's what a website. That? It's a oh, website. Oh, that's the name of yeah. a website. What, what, the, what's different than on that website than specific uh, anything else? I don't know. They're just the, the girls on it are pretty hot. I don't know. That's, that's so It funny. doesn't take much. Wow. No. You know, you could just type porn into a Google search bar and you'll find good-looking girls, girls doing porn. Yeah. Yeah, that's the idea. But that's the name of the website. Do you have a membership to this website? No, I watch it on other sites, like Pornhub or X Videos or whatever. You watch girls do porn. Yeah, they have like their own channel, Exploring and they have videos. like yeah, right, right. Oh, I see. Brian gets it. But you, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, I don't know, dude. I'm starting to think that you your favorite channel is guys do sex. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Favorite porno you've ever seen? Like one that maybe you rewatched oh, a couple times. Shit. Was the one that stood out to um, you? You know, maybe the girl had pigtails, or uh, maybe it was a. Uh, hmm. <laughs> well, was now a, we know that Tony masturbates the girls with pigtails. I, know. <laughs> I don't mind a girl with pigtails. <laughs> sure, I'm not gonna not click on it because she has pigtails. I don't know, man. Do you like watching blowjob porn? Yeah. Ew. What? Dude, yeah, you got Brian, upped by a red band. Brian has this weird thing where if there's a where if at, if at all there is a dick involved in his porn, it becomes gay. You know, right? Blowjob yes. porn's like ninety percent all about the dick. Who wants to watch that? Right, What's going yeah. into a girl's dicks mouth? Dicks are so gay. Gay dicks. If you like dicks, you're gay. Right, red band. Totally. If you write that down, everyone would agree that's gay. It's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, now, uh, yeah. but you don't have a preference between, uh, sex, blowjobs, anything, pretty much yeah, anything pretty goes. Much, yeah. Yeah. Nothing, no, no personal favorite thing for you ever. No, I just said uh, th- th- that one channel is good because they like, kind of do fucking everything on it. Yeah. How about you? Kinkiest thing you've ever done in the bedroom? Oh, uh, you look like you've gone a couple times. Ever give a, give a girl, actually, the, ever give a girl the old second coming? <laughs> yeah. Yes, pretty much. Uh, no, we don't. Uh, we don't get too king- like. Oh God, my fiance is gonna watch this. Um, she wants to do more kinky stuff. Like you have a hand- girlfriend. Uh, I have a fiance, yeah. Fiance, you're getting married, and she wants to do more yeah. kinky stuff. Can you like give me an Cleveland example? Like the Cleveland steamer. Of what yeah, the Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Fuck, dude. I always give girl. I always give girls the Pittsburgh fister, dude. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. You ever give a girl the old cranberry Harry? <laughs> So what is this? What does your girl want? What does your fiance I, want? Uh, well, she she wants to like uh, she wants to like handcuff me or like tie me up. She and then go really get hot. fucked by a garbage I man. D- yeah, I know that sounds yeah. hot, but not when you're the one getting handcuffed. I don't know. I don't. Have you ever let her? No, I watched Gerard's game and I I was totally turned off by it. You watched what? That Stephen King movie, Gerard's game. Oh. 
Anyone else see this? Yeah, yeah what dude. Is that? What is that, like Fifty Shades of Grey for guys? <laughs> No, nah, uh, they try like a bondage thing, and then uh, her husband has a heart attack, and so she's just chained to the bed and like trying to get out. Oh God, so. Stephen King is such a badass. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you've never done it because you've watched Gerard's game. I mean, I've watched Misery. That doesn't mean I won't, you know, sleep. <laughs> yeah. You you never sleep. <laughs> Have you ever done cuck holding? Have you ever done tried that? Get like no, a black no. eye in the room? She does call me a cuck a lot, though. Uh, yeah. Wow. How long you been with this chick? Uh, like three years. Is she here three tonight? Years. No, she's in. Uh, she's back in Rochester. She has to work. Oh, what does she do? She's also a translator. She's a translator mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Same languages. From male to female. Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, she does Japanese. Wow, damn, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, you should definitely let her, uh, let her tie you up, dude. Sure, yeah, tonight, no, go babe. home, wake her up, tie me up, babe. Wow, there yeah. you go. I don't know. Uh, of course, last time somebody tied you up, uh, they tried to nail you to a cross. <laughs> that, so, not always good. Yeah. Now, all right, well, okay, I guess we'll just keep moving on. Right on. Well, it was a pleasure. There Thank he goes, you. Michael Joseph, everybody. He's not on Twitter. This is the guy that's not on social media at all. Hell yeah. Sure, there you go. Take it. Everybody else has gotten one. Fuck yeah. All right. There you go. Now you, you really have need stigmata. It. There you go, Brian. You're dirtier than all these people, but okay. Sure. You could pretend for one night. <laughs> Pulled another name out. Put your hands together for Logan Steak. Logan Steak. Here he comes. Wow. You'll never believe what this guy looks like. The whole tone of the show. Hey, everyone. Feeling a little down right now. It's a lot of fighting, a lot of crying going on at home. I'm watching season two of Glow. <sighs> kind of brings me down. Last summer, I was on a vegan diet for three and a half months. Uh, I lost 22 pounds in three and a half months, which sucks because I only weigh 22 pounds. Lost all my pounds. Remember the good old days when you could throw shoes at the president? Right? Or the good old days when your president had the dexterity to dodge a pair of shoes? Feel bad for the guy that threw him, though. He's probably in Guantanamo Bay being shoeboarded right now. Just tied up to a plank, hung upside down, potato sack over his head, used Chuck Taylors being thrown at his torso. Feel fucking awful for him. Anyone here taught the story of the birds and the bees? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Finish it, go ahead. Uh, I'm glad that they don't teach it that way because you ever seen a bird or a bee have sex? They just fly around and smack right into each other. It cannot be consensual. All right. There he is. All right. There we go. Fun set from uh, Mark Marin's Half Child. <laughs> yep. Dude, how many garbage men are we going to have on the show, dude? <laughs> this is incredible. Uh, so, Logan, how long you been doing comedy? About a year and a half. About a year and a half. All here in Cleveland? I'm from Columbus. From Columbus. You drove up for this, too? Yep. Wow. So far, there is nobody on this show that hasn't <laughs> driven over two and a half hours to be here. That's incredible. Somebody just booed that. All right. Very good. Somebody that hates some energy-conserving <laughs> lady. <laughs> oh, so man. much gas being spent on this podcast. Oh. All right, so Logan, you made the drive up from Columbus today. Uh, yeah, I sat on the passenger side. Hell yeah! Where in Columbus do you live? Uh, I live in Old Town East. Old Town East, hell yeah! All right, near Easton Mall. No, this uh, is like downtown. South. Oh, downtown. Yeah, that like East sense. Side. Yikes! That's fun. Uh, what do you do for work there? I deliver beer. You deliver beer. That mm-hmm. is a busy job in the in the college town of Columbus, oh, Ohio, yeah. huh? How long have you been doing that for? About four years. You get you deliver to parties that are already happening sometimes? No. Uh, uh, that would be tight, but no. 
I yeah. deliver to stores, gas stations. Stores, gas stations, restaurants. Like, you deliver mm-hmm. for a specific company? Yeah, we're a craft brewery. Craft? Brewery. I can't Short say it. Bre- c- we brew cra- craft beer. Can we get the translator <laughs> up here, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. Uh, here I am. It's called gay beer, dude. <laughs> Wow. So you've been delivering yeah, beer is. for a while to different stores and things. Mm. Anything crazy ever happen on that job? Anything weird? Uh, no, not really. No? I, you what know. do you like to do for fun? Uh, stand up, play music, D&D. What type of music, what D&D. Type of music do you play? Uh, kind of whatever. Screamo. I'm not going to lie. Screamo? Screamo. Screamo. Emo. Emo? Yeah. Can you give us a little example? Just a one quick line. Uh, you don't have to over set it up or say whatever. Uh, you just go right m- into it. My dick is small and I can't last long and I don't know how to please a woman. My dick is small. There you go. Like what Josh that's Martin not, listens that, to. That's yeah. not really. Uh, that's not really. That's, uh, uh, dude, that's a confession. That's not a song, <laughs> dude. Uh, is that true, Logan? Do you really have a small dick? Uh, I don't think so. You don't think so, but you mm. say it like other people do think so. Well, has has someone told you, like, you know, to be honest with you, Logan, your dick's just you, you're not you're just not delivering exactly what I need. No, so usually the, 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 when I lost my virginity, she said she felt like she got hit by a train. Ooh. Wow, are you sure she didn't say tranny? Yeah. <laughs> Very easily could have been that. What what grade was she in though? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to do it like that. <laughs> Did you put it in her caboose? <laughs> was she tied to the tracks? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> D&D, that's Dungeons and Dragons. Dudes and dicks, bro. <laughs> How long have you been doing Dungeons and Dragons for? Uh, I just started like a month ago. Wow, what made you start? Now, How old are you? I'm 28. 28. What made you start Dungeons and Dragons a month ago? Uh, it awesome. starts with the board games with all your married friends, and then you realize that you want to just keep playing more games. You're married? No. You just hang out with married people? Yes. Pa- yes How, I do. Why do you hang out with so many married people? Uh, everyone gets getting married. And, you know, they're my friends. You have a girlfriend? No. No. <laughs> When's the last time you were in a steady relationship? Uh, five months ago. Five months ago. And how long did that last? Uh, first time about six months and then a year after like a three-month breakup. What happened? She punched me in the face. Oh. Wow. Oh, why? Yeah. Would you, would you do I don't know. She that? showed up to my work. I was uh, bartending one night. She showed up, ate a patron sandwich. I told her that she can't eat that sandwich. My manager told me she had to leave and I had to leave too. And then on the drive home while I was driving, she just decked me in the face a couple times. Ew, so she's fat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. When she hit you in the face, did it feel like you got hit by a train? <laughs> <laughs> no, she hit like a girl. Oh. Mm. There it is. <laughs> were you driving the car when she hit yeah. you? Yeah. Uh, were you on a freeway or a red no, light? No, I was thankfully just on a regular street. God. Damn, that's crazy. Did you grow the beard out to cover up the bruises? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yes. You you ever play cool. CNC? <laughs> Chicks and clits, dude. What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about the music factory. Wow. <laughs> well, Logan, uh, what else? Any other special skills or hobbies or anything like that? Other, uh, other than singing emo and Dungeons and Dragons? I. D- <laughs> I can move my ears. You what? I can move my ears. You can, w- like, wiggle your ears? Your hair's covering I know. it up. I know. I don't know. It's not the cool way. It's the kind of... Dude, you look like the dad in Teen Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wow. can't tell whether you're turning into a wolf or turning back into a human. <laughs> well, Logan uh, is an ex-man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a 90s reference. It's, a it's good. And your last name's really Steak, huh? Yeah, like a vampire steak. Yeah. Well. <laughs> that's fun. Thank you. All right, Logan. Well, uh, what did you talk about tonight? I can't even remember. What uh, did you say? I was vegan. Lost Is that really weight. true? Were yeah. you a vegan? How yeah. long were you a vegan? Three for? and a half months. Three and a half months. So mm-hmm. what made you do that? 
Uh, that stupid documentary on Netflix. What Food, the health? Food Inc. No, what the health? Oh, the one okay. where they were like, "I'm a weightlifter and I'm vegan." All right. Well, yeah. it was nice to meet you. <laughs> God damn it. Let's keep it moving along. There goes Logan Steak. We have a bunch of names. All right. I pulled another uh, name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Will Bell. Will Bell. Whoa, I'm not seeing any movement here. Is that Will? Here he comes. I got a wave. It's Will Bell. <laughs> what happened to the audience? I could have sworn there was a live audience here before. Hey, guys. My name's Will. And the uh, last time I was on Kill Tony, Tony Hinchcliffe told me that I look like the only fat Lannister. Which, you know, I don't think is true because I wouldn't call Tyrion Lannister absolutely skinny. He may be short, but he ain't skinny. <laughs> well, <laughs> apparently not a lot of Game of Thrones fans in here, I guess. So uh, my grandpa, his name was Newfie, and uh, he used to tell me all the time that he'd get all this pussy in the nursing home. And I said, Newfie... Your dick don't work, man. And he said, Willie, he sat me down. He looked me straight in the eyes. He said, Willie, I don't need no Viagra. I need whiskey to keep it down. I realized then I had my grandpa's dick. I got my... Oh, Go ahead. Finish it. I know, I know better than that. <laughs> okay. I guess it depends. You have a real attitude for a guy that's going to finish on a not laugh anyway. I, I've listened to the podcast long enough that no matter what I said, it wouldn't have been funny. That's not that's necessarily not true, at true at all, Will, but uh, anything you would have said probably wouldn't have been <laughs> funny. You are correct. <laughs> I liked your style. I, you know, I can't, I'm so, wait, it was in L.A. that I called you a fat Lannister? No, no, it was in Columbus. Oh, yeah. How, how long yeah. ago was that? Uh, five two years ago. Year, it couldn't have been five years Tony ago, dude. Columbus. It's we, been it was a like long two, ass time. It was like two years ago, three years ago. We did a Kill Tony in Columbus? Yeah, yeah dude. It, I, <laughs> wow, look at you. <laughs> at your voice has almost got as high as your cholesterol on that one, Will. <laughs> that was impressive. So, so that was... That was two years ago he said that to you? Maybe three. Yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad you got motivated to get healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding the grudge. I like it. I like it. You cover it up well, Will. Uh, you, uh, you dress like an out-of-work lesbian. That, oh, said it before. Whatever. No, I didn't say that. No, I said you look like a fucking lesbian years ago. This time I'm saying specifically that you're dressed like a lesbian. The hat, the shirt, the undershirt, and the pants. How, how well, long? No, it's no, a no, different said, thing. You said and, I, yes, I was in, Will, out of Don't work. try to right, talk over hey, me, dude. you piece of how, shit. How long so, have you been? Listen uh, to me. Will, listen to me. Yes. That's two different insults. I don't want you to fucking rack it up as the same insult. You look like a lesbian is what I told you years ago. You're dressed like a lesbian tonight. <laughs> I want to be very clear. All right? Lesbian uh, paper boy. Uh, how long have you been a softball umpire? <laughs> how long have you been doing stand-up, Will? Since I was 21, so it's been like five years, but I've been kind of like, uh, you know, I, I live in here on Ohio, so I can't do too many open mics, man. I just, uh, you know, I, I'll do the music open mics, and then I'll just be the only comedian, but... So the answer was five years. <laughs> 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 wow. Uh, Will, what do you do for work? Well, I uh, am a carpenter on Puddin Bay. Carpenter so, in yeah. Puddin Bay. Yeah, I, I build houses and shit. Damn. You're building yeah. like a house yourself. <laughs> yeah. Thick. Fuck yeah, you are. How long you been building <laughs> houses for? Uh, you know, I got I got one year, one stripe. You know. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't know, but now I know. Uh, sorry. Hell yeah! Is that something that like is that a family business or you just got into that? Or? No, it's actually my buddy. He's he's my boss. He's over here tonight. That's cool. Yeah. Where's Put in Bay exactly? It's it's South Bass Island. It's its own island in the you middle of went? Lake Erie. 
Uh-uh. No. Pretty no. sweet. No. Central Ohio. Central Ohio. You know. Wow. Very interesting. Yeah. All no, right. you, Central Ohio. Me. If I just don't say anything, are you just going to keep mumbling like that? <laughs> <laughs> Will <laughs> Bell. Any relation to uh, Liberty Bell? Uh, yeah, same size, bro. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Exactly. You took the beach got ball him, and ran with it on that <laughs> one. First time you've ever ran with anything, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been losing weight. Really? Yeah, I'm like. And refinding it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I can't. I can't tell if this guy is having a good time or his laugh is like the most patronizing thing I've ever heard. <laughs> it's a cry for help. <laughs> what have you been doing to uh, lose weight, Will? Oh, you know, just just straight, no sugar, no bread. You know, keto, going big Willie style keto. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing keto? Are you really? I'm trying my best. You know. Well, you either do it or you don't. There's no the only, trying. Yeah. The only you reason. either you either do it or you don't. Coming yeah. from the guy that said she yeah, did. Le- yeah. Lemonade and vodka over here. Donatos, baby. <laughs> this is keto, my friend. That's all right. Brian's <laughs> pretending like he's not gonna eat Donatos. Tonight. I might. I might, man. Oh, I might cheat. You definitely might. Uh, that's fun, Will. So you work in that. You've been doing stand-up for a little bit, but you don't work at it that hard because you don't want to do music open mics. So what else do you do? What do you do in your spare time? Well, you know, we, we've we talked about this in the past, although you don't remember. Oh, yes. I but, remember but very you know, clearly the years ago in Columbus. Yeah, you don't, yeah I said you don't remember it, but, you know, I, I have a pretty cool talent if you, if you want to check it out. Yeah, I just asked you. All right, you know, you... All right. What is well, it? uh... You know, my buddies, they call it the uh, douche flute, but if you're ready. Are you going to kill us? What is happening? (laughs) Hold on. Wait, Brian, let him do the sound. He's doing a sound, and you're playing a song. (laughs) I'm sad. What are you doing to do that? Do it facing me. Do it facing me. Do it again. It's not any better. (laughs) Dude, this guy looks like the ghost of a gay boat cruise. That that was my that was my uh, form of careless whisper that I was hoping that he would take over and. And uh, I wouldn't look Dude, like such a I, faggot. No, I didn't recognize it. Would don't, don't say that word, bro. That's not progressive. Oh my bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like dude, you can be on the, the gay dude. cruise, but don't say the f word, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Will. I See, think you're. Laugh, uh, dude. <laughs> believe it or not, Will. Um, you know, I'm making a lot of jokes up here, but I think you're gonna do just fine in comedy. You, uh, you remind me of both Mike and Molly. <laughs> he's the guy right next to after you on the pictures out here dude. I don't know what you just said nobody does <laughs> you have to make sure people hear you if you want to get a good one out there my bad it's I a, wasn't it's enunciation it's I, huge I feel like when this guy dies on his tombstone it's going to read here lies white privilege <laughs> 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 Come from Jeremiah. Hey, uh, you know, two for two. Oh, what oh, is going shit. on out here in Cleveland, dude? Oh shit! Wait, are we hey, about to hey, have a? Hey, are we I'm about on, to have a douche flute hey, off? Hey, hey, if I'm on a roll, you know, dude, you God. have lots of rolls. We get it. Yeah. Yeah, you woke up the beast, dude. You do not take shots at Jeremiah. This well, has happened before. Well, you know, I'm taking another shot right now. Oh, yeah? Oh, shot what is mouth. it? What, hey, what it, great what job. It? Two for two. No Pat Reagan. He is the worst thing since the fucking Iron Patriot. Wow. Wow, going after well, people you who are, aren't here. This crowd is turning against you real Wait, quick. I, I'm, I'm the heel now. Who is? <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> Man, Will, is there anything you want to say to this crowd to redeem yourself? Uh, you guys all agree with me. What? Ca- catch them at, on uh, baskets. Oh, wow. These people I, hate I, Are they just about to throw c- tomatoes at me up here? You would no. eat them all. <laughs> no, no, you wouldn't eat them. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. Tomatoes are free. Hey, they're keto. 
All right. oh, they're not. No, they're not. Oh Dude, shit! I I think you're the con- keto master. I think he's Brian confu- Redband. He's definitely confusing the keto diet with the Cheeto diet. <laughs> 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 All right, we're gonna keep it moving, Will. Oh shit! There he goes, Will Bell. Hell yeah. All right, we're flying through it here. Uh, we have a, uh, yeah, we're almost there. Why don't we try to get uh, maybe a couple more up here real quick. Put your hands together for Jeremy Walken, everybody. <laughs> Jeremy Walken. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, oh, I fucking blanked. All right, here we go. You know, from time to time, being a physical specimen as I am, I like to dress like a slut. <laughs> you know what the male uniform for, you know what the male uniform for a slut is? Chris White tee, gray sweatpants. Works every time. I know in this light, I look like a big blueberry, a big plump blueberry. But ladies, you know, you got to get your antioxidants. <laughs> oh. About to say, uh, you know, you're ever about to go down on the lady and you pull down her panties and it's a piece of tissue in her pussy crack? <laughs> Is it rude to tell them? Do you eat around it like a piece of salad or something? Oh, is that it? If you want to finish it, you can keep going. That's all I got. That's all you got. (laughs) Hell yeah. You look like you eat the pussy, the toilet paper, and everything in a refrigerator. It all goes down smooth. (laughs) It all goes down smooth. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, Jeremy. Uh, That's awesome, man. Is your first time doing stand-up? Yes, sir. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Put your hands together for Jeremy. Where are you from? Cleveland. Cleveland, right born here. and raised. Hell yeah. Right Look at that. How close? Did you walk here? Oh, uh, no, I ain't walking. What do I look like? <laughs> Crazy? No, I'm east side of Cleveland, maybe about 30 minutes away. Hell yeah, yeah. east side of Cleveland. Well, welcome, welcome. Your first time doing stand up. How old are you? 33. 33. And what do you do for work? Oh, uh, I work at uh, Heinen's Manufacturing Warehouse. Hell yeah. Uh, just shipping a, and receiving. You drive a forklift? Uh, from time to time. I'm usually more of a picker. A what? A picker. A picker. Like an American picker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Hell yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Have you always wanted to do stand-up? Like, is this something you've always thought of doing? Well, you know, listening to you guys, I figured I'd try it out. You know. Hell yeah. You're a natural. Out, You're man. like Patrice O'Meal. Oh, thank you. Hopefully the diabetes don't get me either. <laughs> so Neil, did I just fuck that up? Patrice O'Neill? His yeah. name's Patrice O'Neill, right? Yeah. yeah. And I said Patrice O'Neill. You, you see, he's almost like him, so he must have like purple feet or something like that. Okie dokie, we lost everybody. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So Jeremy, uh, when you're not uh, working, what else do you do for fun? What else is uh, fun facts about Jeremy Walken? Uh, video games. Uh, yeah. yeah. What are some of your uh, favorite video games? Fortnite? <laughs> nah. <laughs> My hands ain't fast enough for that. Yeah. Uh, what are some of your games? Uh, Witcher 3. It's pretty good. All right. Uh, Fallout. Uh huh. It's pretty good. Skyrim. Those type of games. Hell yeah. That's mm-hmm. fun. When you're not playing, you have a girlfriend? No. No. Antioxidants, ladies. Antioxidants. <laughs> Antioxidants. So when you're not playing video games and, uh, and you're not working, what else? Anything else? Anything you do outside of the house? You live by yourself? Uh, no. Still with the parents? Yeah, with my mom. It's kind of... I bet your mom cooks good shit. Yeah, yeah. My grandma's the best. Oh, shit. What's yeah. your grandma's specialty in the kitchen? Ooh, that mac and cheese. It's like crap. God fucking damn. Man. I can't even imagine. Gets you every time. I cannot even Im- Like, it makes me seriously, like, want to, like, tear up. I had up. a flashback. 
like fucking Nam. God. Awesome. I bet. There's people having flash blacks and shit. All the time. That toilet paper shit's hilarious because I think we've all been there, you know? Like, yeah, <laughs> what do you do in that situation? Yeah, I'm for, right. for yeah. once I agree with Red Band, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody's seen that. We just don't talk about it. I don't yeah. Know. That's funny as fuck, though. What, like, uh, what have you. you done in the past when you've seen that toilet paper there? Kind of move it to the side. Yeah. <laughs> move it to the side. Just leave it, it on like the wall. Like may- maybe Kinda she's saving it. it. Yeah. Move it to the side. Have you, uh, have you only been with black women? Oh, no, I don't discriminate. Wow. Go. All right. The toilet paper, though, was that on a black woman's vagina? Unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's, yes, of course. Seeing toilet paper. All toilet always, paper on a pussy is unfortunate. Always. But you never know. You never, you, boo, really, lady? Really? <laughs> you single ply, simple bitch. <laughs> boo! I gonna put I gonna fucking toilet paper on my pussy all you fucking want. I, if I wanna fucking break up toilet paper on my pussy, it's 2018. Boo you, lady. <laughs> Jesus, go clean yourself, you dirty bitch. <laughs> boo. These chicks just throw out boos for anything now. Ever since Hillary lost, everybody just boo. I fucking like TP on my fucking pussy. You can't tell me what I like. I voted for it. <laughs> dude, she sounds like a girl who named her vagina Charmin, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. I bet it's super easy to quicker pick her up. Her. <laughs> oh, no. She needs a brawny man. That's brawny. Fuck. What's Charmin's catchphrase? Oh, well, we cover toilet paper on pussies. <laughs> 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 It's a working uh, program. <laughs> Jeremy, you're a big guy. Uh, you have any special moves in the bedroom that you do? Anything, uh, anything crazy? Oh, I call it the lockdown. The lockdown? Oh, yeah. Is that just you, when you're on top? <laughs> that too. That too. The lockdown. Lockdown. Is when you got it from the back. Yeah. Then you put your stomach. Oh, oh shit. Hell yeah. I might have to try that sometime. Next time I'm having sex with a girl from behind, I'm going to put your stomach on her back. <laughs> Lock her down. That's what's up. Uh, Jeremy, I fucking love your style. I love your charisma. Everything straight down the barrel goodness. Uh, next time you do this, just ignore the lights. That we can't tell whether you're seeing anything or not. You know what I mean? Any of those self thoughts? Just look true, out there, true. into that. Just like when you're looking in the mirror, you look out in that and see that black mass out there, and just <laughs> and just let it rip. You know what I mean? Because I think you got this on lockdown. Like so do it again sometime. Have fun. There he goes. Jeremy Walken. Fuck yeah. No relation to Christopher. What do you guys think? One more? We only have time for one. Sorry to all of you that signed up that didn't get on. This is, uh, this is the uh, Cleveland Bucket of Destiny, and it has spoken. And your final comedian performing tonight is... Devin Knapp. Devin Knapp. Oh, look at all the sad faces of people that didn't get up. You could try again. Cincinnati's only a three and a half hour drive on Friday. And then Saturday, Fort Wayne. There's a Kill Tony there. Fort Wayne, Indiana. If you're feeling anxious. One more time for Devin Knapp, everybody. Shit. Lack of hair. Sorry, I'm bringing it down. No beard. No long hair. I grew up in a rural area. Weird thing about rural area is the way you interact with people. The way I interact with my parents is kind of the same way. I can think back, being on a fishing boat with my dad out in Lake Erie. He'd be sitting there drinking a beer, smoking cigarettes, and I was like nine years old. And I'd look at him and be like, Dad, can I try one of those cigarettes? Can I have like a beer? He'd look at me and be like, oh, that's, that's a good question. Uh, does your dick touch your asshole? What the fuck? No, no, it doesn't. Oh, then you're not old enough. You gotta wait a little longer. Eventually, that'll happen. Then uh, a few days later, eating cookies out of a bag in the house, my dad comes up to me. He's like, hey, "Let me get a few of those cookies." Being smart, I'm like, "All right." Does your dick touch your asshole? Well, as a matter of fact, it does. 
shit, go fuck yourself. But it's, it's not only rednecks. It's not only rednecks. We also... Oh. Go ahead. Finish it. Finish the rest of this oh, joke Jesus. book. That was just a lack of fill-up time. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. Devin. Uh, is, Devin. Is somebody told you that joke, right? Like That's like a yeah, street joke. That came from my grandparents. Why would you do a joke fire? that your grandparents told you? Because I thought it was How funny. old are you? What are you, for? a giant baby? I'm, hey, don't let the facial hair fool you. Dude. I'm pretty much a giant. It's your first time doing stand-up? Obviously. And you did a joke that your grandparents told you. What, what do you think, way, Jeremiah? Can I make a weird curveball suggestion? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be the same thing that I might be thinking. All right. We haven't had one female on this stage tonight. Can we pull a female name out of the bucket and replace this dude? Let me ask you something, and, and don't just stop. Stop. Relax, everybody. Relax. Relax, 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 relax. Everybody relax. I'm trying to get pussy out of this, by the way, dude. (laughs) No uggos. First of all, uh, Devin, you're a fan of the show? Yeah. How long have you been listening for? A couple months. Not very long. A couple months. Not very long. Well, let, let me tell you something, my friend. You go back. You do your research. You listen to every goddamn episode. All right. I'm going to dive and deep. And you tell me at the end of your research if you find anything else that sounds like 60 seconds of a joke from a grandparent. I think I'll find a few. No, you won't. <laughs> And then you'll find a few people that we just get off the stage immediately and move on to the next oh, thing. But, man. Devin, let me tell you this. You're 24. You had the balls to sign up. Yep. You know, don't be afraid to figure out what's interesting and funny about you and try it again sometime, okay? All right. There thanks, he goes, man. Devin Knapp. Now. Come back when your balls touch your asshole. Now we're going to move in order. Let me just ask this. And just yell if it's true. Did a lady sign up for this show tonight? Okay, now that table shut up. Did any other ladies sign up tonight? All right, then in that case, I'm going to go through the bucket until we find a lady. Sound fair? Sorry to Brett Thomas. It's like, dude, Sorry to so- John Valley. Dude, this is brutal. Sorry bro. to Jay Stinson. Oh, you already said enough, you piece of shit. <laughs> Crooks probably isn't a female, right? Nope. Laura. What? Laura. Shut up. <laughs> Kenneth Bauer, I <laughs> apologize. <laughs> I apologize. We're just going to have to get through it. Dylan Liner, I apologize. So fucking not close. Josh Lawhorn. At least you guys are getting shout-outs. This is like a black radio station. (laughs) All right, here we go. Your final comedian of the night goes by the name of Bridget Seibel. Bridget Seibel is coming to the stage. She has a steady pace, a drink in her hand. Here she comes, of course. Make some noise for Bridget Seibel, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! Closing out the show. Oh, man. So, yeah, earlier in this podcast, I was the one that booed, so. You know, I got to add a little sauce to it. Um, so I just moved from Chicago after five years of living there, but I did grow up in Cleveland, so that's why I'm here. I escaped purgatory, and then I came back until I moved to Melbourne. But I'm drunk, so I have no idea what to say now, so this is a total mistake. I apologize on behalf of all the other females, all of uh, none that apparently entered, because this entire I put my sh- neck out for you! This entire show! Lock her you- up! Lock her up! It was great to sit here for at least five white men to tell us things that weren't funny, and then... Oh. Wait a second. Ooh. Hold on. What's your Stop. closer? Um, Stop. Excuse me? Stop. 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 Okay. All right. Everybody (laughs) stop doing things. Bridget, what would you just say about five white guys? What did you just Uh, say? Just the fact that I got really drunk because I had to listen to five of them in a row. 
Uh, so I brought my drink back I see up what here. you're saying. Oh, we uh, thought you were calling Joel White for a second. I was about to get pissed, dude. Yeah, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously. And, and by the way, Jeremy Walken was five black guys in one. I don't understand <laughs> how. That's what's up, bruh. <laughs> Bridget, um, first of all, let me, you know, I know a lot of people think I'm going to be mean to her, but let me start by saying that is one of the funniest performances by a female comedian I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. <laughs> Bridget, that's uh, you might be the drunkest person I've ever seen that has only taken a quarter of a sip of her drink before. Yeah, it's about to spill over again. I actually spilled it when I was walking up here. <laughs> wow. Uh, have you, you ever done stand-up before? When you're walking up here. Have yeah. you ever, you, you've done it before? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> no. So this was your... Okay. Yeah, I haven't been on a stage... Jesus, shut up. That's my sister and my mom yelling at me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, guys. What do you think I'm going to do? End it on this, you fucking idiots? You're the one stuck in Youngstown. You think I need your advice? See, Jesus I think that's what lost Christ. them, is that I talked about being in purgatory because I'm back in Ohio after I moved no, out. No, 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 no. They hated you before that, and they hated you uh, after that, Bridget. Don't blame it on the purgatory thing. <laughs> it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the lack of punchlines. <laughs> Guys, shut the fuck up. <laughs> do you really think you're in control? <laughs> sort of are. I mean, I don't want it to end with you guys all angry and shit. Bridget, I'm going to be honest with you. You're, uh, you're drunk, and you're sort of an angry person. Yes. And for that reason, I'm going to dismiss you. There she goes, Bridget Seibel. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. But I, in honor of you booing from the audience, why don't we all give her a good boo on our way back to her seat, huh? <laughs> I apologize to Michael Tucker. I apologize to Tony Giacchetti. Aw, he sounds like he'd be funny, too. <laughs> Tony Giacchetti. Brittany H. Brittany H. Here we go. This is going to be your final comedian of the night. Is she coming? Here she comes. Brittany H. Moving at the pace of The Undertaker. Yeah, here we go, motherfuckers. You guys ready to end this show or what? I uh, did not think I was going to be up here tonight. Whoa. I'm off to a good start, right? Um... Does someone know me out there? So going to the bathroom for women is a lot like going to war. And uh, I say that because there's a lot of strategy involved. You have to evade your enemy. And um, you also have to complete your mission. So going to the bathroom, I'm talking about specifically at the work office. So for me, when I find out I have to go, I'm thinking, fuck. Okay, how do I get to the bathroom and evade... Linda in the hallway because Linda wants to talk. She wants to talk about the weekend. She wants to talk about how the fucking cat's doing. Did I give it the meds? And I'm thinking, Linda, I, I, you know, I can't talk. I got to go. And it's like, how do you casually say, I got to go? So you're evading that conversation. Then you get to the bathroom, and your next quest is like, okay, I'm in here. I'm... Was that really 60 seconds? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Tony, is I it just me or does every woman like feel like the world is against her, right? Um, is that really 60 seconds? Uh, when you go to the bathroom, do you think, oh my God, are there other people here? Can I take a shit freely or are Brittany. other people going to listen and judge? Brittany, what? who's roofing all the women in this audience? This is like all males, so of course I'm going to be, you know. What is going on Wait. here? Of course you're going to be what? Uh, douchebags like you are probably going to be like, no. Whoa. Oh, dude, wow. Everybody's coming against I just take shits freely. Yeah. 
Brittany, I have no idea what's going on here. Is this your first time doing stand-up? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I actually did this because my husband, he's out there. He wanted to come up. My name got picked. I'm just trying to show him you can fucking come up, do your thing. Did he sign up? Yeah, and I wish you'd come up here. So he signed up. And, and I to show too. him, you took another spot in the bucket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With no preparation other than saying, you ever go to the bathroom <laughs> and, uh... You're right. I, I think what I said was Am valid I right, and people? True. Oh, that's 60 seconds? I mean, I'm not going to... Spend three months studying for a 30 second, 60 second spot. It's not 30, 30 seconds, seconds, 60. And it doesn't seem like you spent 60 seconds studying for this you're, 60 second you're spot. You're absolutely right. You're right. I didn't even think my name was going to get picked, but here I am. Well, up here. Probably like many other times in your life, Brittany, you thought wrong. I'm gonna, that's, I'm gonna move valuable. along. I'm gonna move along from you. There she goes, Brittany H. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Thank you. That's Thank it. You. You're too uninteresting. Uninteresting. Wow. Let's... Sorry, kiddo. It's okay. Just go. I'd like to apologize to Dylan McCarthy. I'd like to apologize to Gary Graham. <laughs> Lil Nick 8, I'd like to apologize to. And I'd like to apologize to Brandon Gerber. Baby. <laughs> Joe Graham. Greg Smith. And Gary Rowley, you never even signed up. There isn't another lady there. Someone lied. What? Amber Heard. What is it? <laughs> what a debacle. Amber, did you prepare for this? All right, let's give it one last shot. Closing the show, and this is it. Put your hands together for Amber. We fucking did it, guys! God damn it! <sighs> I'm Amber Maida. How y'all doing tonight? Woo! <sighs> I'm originally from Hawaii. I was raised in Michigan. I moved to Cleveland about a year and a half ago, so you know my life is... <laughs> <laughs> I don't make uh, good decisions, guys. Uh, no, I, uh, I'm not trying to be all depressed like a sad boy. Like a fucking, every single person out here was in a screamo band, like, I feel so sad and when I feel like this, I speak like this, because this is how I feel. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my God. No, uh, I, I do like Cleveland a lot. I've, I've been here, you guys look at me like I'm an actual human being. I appreciate that. Uh, I worked in a small town. They look at me like, build that wall. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I am not Mexican. <laughs> I'm actually Asian. I come from an Asian family where our motto is don't disappoint a family. And I do. A rot. Thank you, guys. There you go. <laughs> you did okay. it. Hell yeah. What's Aloha. Up? Aloha. Mahalo. Thank you. Ever you ever done stand-up before? Yes, I have. In Hawaii? No, not yet. Where did you do it at? I started doing stand-up when I moved to Cleveland a year and a half ago, and uh, I've been doing it for 14 months. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. Well, you came up with a lot of energy, very excited. You came up here with a, uh, with a purpose, not with a goddamn excuse like so many God other damn. people. Girls, oh. what are you doing to us out there? God damn it. Don't put your name in the bucket if you don't have anything. You know, uh, if I could give you a note, it would be... If I could give you a note, it would be, you know, write your, write, write, write that stuff out. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to just be like, you know, I went from Hawaii to blah, 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 to Cleveland. And, uh, you know, it shouldn't end like that. You could fucking just say, like, I'm a dumbass or something <laughs> like that. Anything, I do. Thank you. you. Know, <laughs> just be very direct. You know what I mean? You don't have to act it out. And, um, yeah, I mean, 14 months, that's not bad at all. What do you do for a living? 
I work, work at a budget dumpster company. <laughs> a dumpster company? Whoa! Dumpster company. <laughs> dude, let's bring the garbage man on stage. Have sex right now, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm pretty sure he'll put it in your budget dumpster. <laughs> Well, that's fucking awesome. Um, Amber, uh, we have uh, gone way over time, so uh, much, like, uh, much like your tits, we're going to bounce. <laughs> there goes Amber, everybody. A very funny lady, 14 months in the game. We did it, guys. Kill Tony Live, Hilarity, Sports Street, Cleveland, Ohio, where anything can happen. We love you. How about one more time for Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, huh? <laughs> Jeremiah motherfucking Watkins. Brian, the potfather, hey. Red Band. How about make some noise for our friends over at Germex? Germex. Germex.net. Shout out to Sprite. Parent. Uh, we are, uh, we are all, this is very important, we are all doing stand-up comedy here tomorrow night, so, uh, if any of you are interested in watching the best goddamn stand-up comedy show you've ever seen live, I can guarantee that that will be here tomorrow night, so you might as well do that, uh, for those of you that drove so many hours to be here, which is an incredible amount of people that I met tonight, thank you so much, you know, from the bottom of my heart... I really appreciate it. I absolutely love doing, we all love doing these shows on the road and getting to meet so many cool, compelling, different characters. And uh, it's great to be home in Ohio. I love you guys. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you.